Um, so this is a game called Apparition. It's on Steam. It came out in October 2018, but it's still in early access. It was developed by Mr. Kiastku, who also made, oh, Shadows 2 Perfidia. I remember playing that game. All right, well, uh, I guess let's uh, check it out. Equipment shop. What? I'll, I'll equip it for free. Can be used to take photos of any sort. Yes, it's a camera. It, the camera can be used to take photos, guys. Has high battery usage. There's also, oh good, I have my journal equipped. Contains very important information about your investigation. And then I've also got a lighter, can be used to light candles. You know, not every item needs a description. Uh, let's play. I don't know what's going on. Wow. <laughs> Imagine getting out of your car and lighting a candle with your hands outstretched. This is how I will begin my investigation. Why didn't you bring a flashlight? Oh, I just left. Oh, you can just leave. <laughs> okay, I got an achievement called too spooky for me had a good hunt upload your high score to the leaderboard. Oh, all right Wait, what am I hunting? The supernatural I thought I was just like investigating People that died from a plague Okay, real quick. I'm gonna move my camera over here just because there's a there's actually a time in the upper left Wow, oh There was a note that said are you there question added to list dude If I walked into an outhouse off the side of the road like this and there was a note in there That looked like it came from a fortune cookie and it said are you there? I think I'd bounce Imagine leaving a note in an outhouse. I got zero trophies. Hey, what's this? New entry. Okay, how do I look at the journal? Here we go. Okay. Your job is to collect as much paranormal evidence as possible. To do that, nope. Nope. Previous page. To do that, you need to summon demons by collecting some points first. How do I collect points, you ask? Snap pictures of or record body bags and blood stains. Speak with spirits using the Ouija board. Remember to bring a camera and tripod with you. If you don't know what to ask the board, look around for scraps of paper. After you notice a demon coming your way, take as many pictures and record as much footage as you can. To upgrade your equipment, set up a trap and lure the demon into it to get artifacts. Good luck. So basically, this is Phasmophobia. Two years before Phasmophobia was made. <laughs> Other entries. Well, here we are. I should set up the Ouija board and proceed with my plan. Okay, how do I, how do I bring out the camera? Okay, can I say... This control screen is awful. What? It only has three controls, and it says D is walk. Oh, place items. What am I doing? Oh, use Ouija. Uh, ask question. What did I just ask? No answer. Oh, the question that I got in the outhouse was, are you there? Okay. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, no! Spooky! What's up? Oh, I got plus one wood pieces, plus one metal pieces. No way I can enter without breaking in. I'd need a crowbar or something. Thanks. Well, it's not a horror game unless you get a crowbar. What am I doing? Oh. Wait, new journal entry? 
I wonder what's down there. The hatch is stuck. I need to bring a crowbar next time I come here. Dude, this is literally phasmophobia. Except it was made first, oddly. There's a knife in here. Looks a bit bloody. I hope it's just animal blood. Okay. I can feel bad energy emanating from this toy. What could it possibly mean? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Maybe just... Let me just put it down. You want to take a picture of it? I don't know. What do you want? It's raining! Okay. Okay, I lit a candle. Can see far! Stay low! Medium danger! Average speed! Oh, is this like an enemy? Uh-oh. Wow. Oh, it's a blood trail. We got to follow it. <laughs> a bloody mattress. More blood. More evidence. Good. So we... Okay, so I got evidence. How do I take a picture? I, I think I need to figure that out. Before I go any further. How do you bring out the camera? Oh, here it is. Okay. So, so does that count as evidence? Okay, there's a question. The question is hello, by the way. Not really a question. More of just a statement. This is literally, oh my God. Are you my dad? My dad used to just keep like random containers full of screws and bolts and stuff. Our garage is full of it. Like literally a hundred Jif peanut butter jars. Full of like nails and screws and stuff. And it's not just him, it was my granddad did that too. Oh, okay. Spooky, I guess. So what, can I take a picture of this? Look, it's a pentagram. Uh This map doesn't resemble the area at all. Oh, okay. Then I guess it's useless. Okay, so basically nothing good was out here. So when I walk outside, does it douse my candle? Ooh, we have a rainproof candle. <laughs> Is that all that's gonna happen? Okay. Let's uh let's ask let's ask hello. Hello. Anyone there? <gasps> Why? Um Yeah, I don't know. Hey, are you there? I I, I think I heard some growling. Is it go go away? Yeah, go away. Typical ghost answer. Hmm. Thanks. Hello? <laughs> Let's see if they say why again. Rogue Knight, thank you for the 11 months. No answer. Oh, darn. Um, yeah, what's this over here? Oh. What was that? Oh, dude, I can't catch I can't catch the photos of those things fast enough. They don't stick around for long enough. What is this? We just saw this thing. Don't let it get close to you. Look at it. Listen for it. Be careful. Look at it. Listen for it. Don't let it get you. It would be useful if it wasn't broken. That's a shame. Bro, I want to take a picture of this thing. Where is it? I just heard it growl, I think. Can I close the door here or... No? What did I just pick up? <laughs> camera... Okay, camera and candle are the only thing I have. Was that a crow... Was that like a giant pry bar? Dude, did you hear that? It's raining again. Oh! Holy 
same shit. <laughs> hey, we collected 309 evidence points. Hell yeah. What the hell was that? Let's check on the leaderboard. Oh, I'm not. Oh, upload my high score. Hell yeah. Hey, look, there's me. I'm right underneath crazy bat lady. Disconnect equals win. That's a dead by daylight player right there. For anyone that's just joining us, this is a game called Apparition. It's basically Phasmophobia, but only solo, no co-op. And it was made like two years before Phasmophobia. Also, it's not as good, but it it is interesting. Oh, RNG. So last time we started, there was a we found a note in here. There's not one this time though. This game was apparently supposed to be released July 2019. Yeah, it it's been early access for two years, so. Oh, here's a question. What's your name? I think is what it said. What? To my surprise, this machine isn't that old. I estimate around five years or so. And you're basing that on what? What expertise are you using to determine that? This machine looks about five years old by my estimation. Let's go straight over here. See, what is this? What is that? Oh, battery? I saw one of those earlier. Okay, don't let it get close to you. We haven't seen that. We got killed by some some big thing. Oh, where are you? There's a question that we can ask the spirit. What is this? Seems like someone was looking for shelter and they couldn't get inside the cabin. Oh, fuck. Already? That thing's hanging out already? It came from that way. Oh, here's a new question. Are you good or bad? What a great question to ask. Are you good or bad? Three wood pieces, three metal pieces, two battery. What, what are you using that to like craft though? So maybe if you make progress, I like this JPEG of a clock. <laughs> like what? Okay, I need to find out if there's something besides those two cabins. Like, there's that and that, but I want to know if there's something else. Is that it? Okay. Oh, there actually is. There actually is something more over here. Okay. More tools. How old is this piece of machinery with your extensive knowledge, huh? It's raining again. When, uh, when did you die? Okay, we got another question. Oh. Hides when notices. Moves faster when not seen. Very dangerous. Alright. Bro, is there some reason that I'm lighting these candles, by the way? What is this? Is that like a- is that a metal piece? Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's ask, or I guess just say hello. See if we get anything. Okay. Stay away, stay out, stop. Stop. Okay. Um, what's your name? Zach? Z Zo Zoz? Zozo? Thanks. Did you just you just made up a name, didn't you? When did you die? Zozo. That's not your real name. Don't just say Zozo again.
Uh, okay, are you good or bad? And don't just say Zozo or I'm leaving. I'm literally gonna get, I, you don't do it. Thanks. What's the point of this part of the game if I'm just gonna get trolled by the ghost? Where are you? Let me guess, Zozo. Oh, he says some, they, Zozo says something different. Here, he, head. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I asked, where are you? And you said, head. Well, you know, at least you didn't say Zozo. Okay, well, at least we got some information. Um, that's all the questions I got. Oh, wait, are, are you there? Oh, this will be good. Oh, this this will be yeah. Answer this one. Are you there? Are you gonna say stop again? Stop. No. Stop now. Okay. Where? Oh, bro. Oh, fuck. Okay. How do you get away from this thing? Okay, okay. Oh, damn. Dude, I can only handle one at a time. Ha ha ha. Thwarted by doors. Oh. Uh oh, uh, there's, there's no way out of here. Get, get, bro, get inside, 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 what the fuck? Zozo is so mean. I didn't think that they were gonna get out. What? Stop showing me that. What am I supposed to do about that? Pissed off Zozo, man. Hey, why don't you go back outside in the rain, Zozo? Stop it. This game keep. <laughs> I get it, it's 3.36 a.m. Scary things are happening. You know, I gotta say, Zozo's not very smart right now. I mean, there's a huge orange glow coming from this closet and Zozo's just letting me be. Zozo's leaving, did you hear that? Zozo's a fucking idiot. Okay, now the big question is, like, now what do we do? <laughs> what what the hell am I supposed to do now? Uh oh, we can't close the door anymore. It got broken. What is this? I've never seen so much blood my entire life up until this point. Really? That's what you're gonna focus on right now? Oh. F Yo, it's been real, Thanks. but um, I I. Where the hell else do I go? Do I go this way? Oh, okay. Okay, what's this way? I'm gonna look for more evidence. What do I do with the metal pieces? Oh my God. Dude, no. There's a house over here. Uh, stop raining. Did you hear that footstep? Mm-mm. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> what the fuck? What was that? <laughs> That's that stupid baby thing. That thing is literally in phasmophobia. Okay. Um. Okay. Here's what I have to say about apparition after uh, two runs. Actually, like surprisingly good. It's definitely got that like phasmophobia flavor to it. My thing is, I don't understand the goal or, and I can't seem to make any progress towards it. You're like, let me, let me upload my high score though. Oh, your boy's top 200. Do, 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 do. Goodbye, Zozo. It was uh, interesting getting to know you, Zozo. Okay, I have another game that's uh, installing now. This is a game, uh, it's a surprise. Okay, this is a game called God's Basement. I played the demo for it forever ago, and I never played the full game because honestly, it looked like something super boring. Tips, press the interact key to use objects. The default key is E, but you can change the controls in the pause menu. If you get stuck or aren't sure what to, uh, you're supposed to do, use the hints found in the pause menu. A hint is automatically given if you stay inside an area for more than three minutes. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Okay, this was uh, October 2018. So the same month that Apparition came out. October 16th, 2018. Mostly positive reviews, by the way. There's like 700 reviews and they're mostly positive. So this ought to be good, right? Oh, that that's a really ugly loading bar. Okay. Here we go. Getting up from my chair at my rat race cubicle job and then looking down at the floor for no reason and then looking back up. You know, every single time I get up from my chair, this is how I do it. That's how I do it every time. Without exception. I look down at the ground first, and then I slowly turn my head back up. John sounds like he's not even giving this game a chance. Hello, and welcome to God's Basement. A place for special individuals such as yourself. Such as me? I realize that you may be a bit confused at the moment, but don't worry. Everything will be explained soon. You might not be able to remember everything about your past just yet, but those memories will return soon. Okay. You might be wondering who else is here, but you'll meet the inhabitants of God's basement soon enough. I know that I might seem suspicious, <laughs> but for now, I'm going to need you to trust me. What are you Whenever talking you about? Ready, exit the room and keep walking until you find the room with the blue light. From there, I'll provide further instructions. Also, if you see or hear anything strange or unusual, ignore it to the best of your ability. I'll talk to you once you reach the designated area. Good luck. You know the most suspicious thing about you is that you acknowledged that you might sound suspicious. What is that supposed to mean, John? Is he supposed to just act like he's not suspicious? He's just being honest. And you're just being unreasonable. Unlike me. Neil Young, father, Kevin Young, brother, James Young, you. Oh, here's my family tree, dating back to one set of grandparents. Our, my mother did not have parents. It's weird, she just kind of spawned into existence. Oh, what's this scrap of paper? Two Dead in Fatal Crash by Stephen Miles. A fatal accident that occurred last weekend is currently being investigated. Reports say that an elderly couple, along with their infant grandson, were driving along an interstate highway when the driver lost control. The vehicle swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The driver, a retired elderly man by the name of Frank Young, was killed in the accident along with his infant grandson, Kevin Young. The only survivor of the crash, Margaret Young, is in stable condition. Rumors suggest that alcohol might have been involved in the incident, but there is insufficient evidence to properly conclude the suspicion. Police also... Okay. Well, well, that's uh, that's certainly a lot of information about our grandparents. 
Let's go back to this. Okay, so Frank Young, dead in a car crash. Kevin Young, also dead in that car crash as an infant. Uh, Margaret survived. There may have been alcohol involved. Okay, so we got the backstory for those three characters. Nice. Oh, was there a key that I was supposed to get? Okay, let me go back in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around for a key. James Young, deceased. Mother Sarah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause of death not available, day of death not available. James Young was raised by his grandmother for most of his life. Interesting. Is there, is there a key? Or am I just, what am I doing? I would think, okay. Just from a game design perspective, this door is locked, right? And uh, like, just from a game pl a game flow thingy, you come out of here, you see this family tree around the corner, and then you're like, oh, this is locked. I better go over here. So you come in here, you read this uh, very important newspaper article, and then what? And then and then you would think that you find like a key or something. And then you open the door. You're starting to understand why there's a time-activated hint system built into the game? Um, well, I have been wandering around for more than three minutes and I have not gotten a hint. Hints. Okay. Turn on the television. How? Then walk back into the hallway and stand next to the sign until the blood appears. Go back and stare at the TV while staying near the TV monitor. Go back into the hallway and a cabinet door will open up with a key. <laughs> what? Turn okay. Maybe these should be bullet points. Turn on the television. Th I... I literally... W this... This TV? Is there a remote? Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> it would be funny if the hint was a YouTube tutorial that you had to watch. Okay, what's the second part of this? Stand next to the sign until the blood appears. What sign? Stand next to the sign? This sign? Because this is a sign. Oh, there's the blood. Okay. Go back and stare at the TV while staying near the TV. <laughs> Sorry, what? Oh, bro. The rabbit's gone. Rabbits, rabbits left. Okay, now what? Go back into the hallway and a cabinet door will open with a key. What? Oh my God. How are you supposed to do that? No way. Fuck off. How are you supposed to know to do that? Oh. That's not the sound a hammer makes when it goes into your inventory. Okay. What, so I just... Do I use the hammer on the... Oh, oh that's a really ugly... You to God's basement. Trust the operator. It will guide you. Who are you? Top secret. Okay, I'm gonna leave my top secret document just out on the... Here we go. I see you found your way to the blue room. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding... Is this the blue room, the really? Way, I forgot to mention who I am. Just call me the operator for now. It's not an official name, but I find it quite catchy. You're making great progress so far. Dude, if I died and I found out that the afterlife was an indie horror game, 
I'd be like, just send me to hell. Just cut the pretense. Just send me, uh, just admit that this is hell. I guess I was a bad person, huh? What's up? There's another hammer. We don't pick this one up though. Um, okay, dear mother, sorry I haven't been answering your calls. I know it wasn't your fault, but losing Kevin and dad has taken a toll on all of us. I think Sarah and I just need some time to grieve and accept what happened. Take care, your son, Neil Young. Hmm. The Secrets, 1971, my favorite book. <sighs> okay, what, so I got, okay, so I go. Yeah, what, what, what up? So I go back? <laughs> Past this door, things seem quite dangerous. Your memories from your past life are still probably blurry, but they'll start coming back shortly. For the time being, make your way down through the hallway. I highly advise you not to spend too much time looking around. If anything makes an attempt to get your attention, ignore it to the best of your ability. If you see anything or anyone approach you, do whatever is necessary to avoid contact with that entity. Most importantly, do not, I repeat, do not acknowledge their existence. If you follow these guidelines, you should be just fine. Give me a minute or two to unlock the door. Once the screen shows that it is unlocked, you may proceed. I'll see you again soon. Good luck. Give you a minute or two to unlock the door. Well, you gotta finish jerking off back there? Why? Why do I have to wait? It's all coming back to me now why I didn't play the full game of God's Basement before. It's all coming back. Can I turn this off? Please. Confidential. I, I love it. Um, what is that? Oh, it's like a, a crushed can. Gross. Um. Okay. Hey, you done yet? Thanks. I'm curious. Thanks. <laughs> Find the flashlight on the table. Interact with the glowing red square and wait for the message to play. While the message is playing, the light across the room will fade away. After the light is completely gone, walk towards the room with no light. Wait for the red panel to turn green. Huh? The light across the room will fade away. Oh, I see. We had to, we had to have the incredible moment where the radio gets thrown at us from across the room. Okay, so now, oh, now it's green. Oh, okay. Now we can go in. Nice. Look, creepy old woman. What does it say? God did not forgive me. Okay, right next to my deep psychology book. Let me guess. Oh, can't go in here. Uh-oh. God did not forgive me. It still says that. Horton, thanks for the prime sub. Uh, okay. You know, I'm just gonna say it. If you have to wait, if you have a hint system that automatically kicks in, um, and you feel like it's integral to the game that you have that, lest people get stuck, maybe the progression needs to be redesigned and how events are activated needs to be more intuitive because right now I feel like I'm gonna spend this entire game waiting three minutes for the hint. Oh, don't have it yet. Oh, look, the timer's ticking down. We got 35 seconds. Why don't we just wait the 30 seconds? Okay, let's find out what we do. What is it gonna be? Are we gonna have to like stand in the corner facing the wall for 10 seconds until we hear a static sound behind us and then we turn around and the door will be ajar. We look through the door or something. Try the door across the room. Okay, already done. 
After the light shuts off, zoom in at the cluster of photographs on the table. Peek through the door that opens, walk around the area until you find an opening, enter the room and listen to the message played on the TV. The cluster of photographs? They're not... There's one photograph. What? There's one photograph. A cluster of photographs? There's one. The rest are typed out pages of saying, God, God do not forgive me. Hi, what's up? Oh, look. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. What the fuck? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Walk around the area until you find an opening. There we go. Nice. TV? What, do I have to find a remote? Oh. A car crash resulted in the death of a grandfather and an infant child. Authorities reported that the car swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The only survivor was the grandmother of the Yeah, we already know all this. Child. Although she suffered major injuries, he is currently in stable condition. Is that what I just saw? The grandmother? also reported that the grandfather was driving the vehicle and that alcohol might have been involved in the incident. Okay. We literally already knew all that. So... Oh my god. Look. God do not forgive me. God do not forgive me. God do not forgive me. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Okay. Does it, is it magically open now? That's oh, magically open now. What's up? Oh. What? They never answered any of my letters or my calls. I waited an eternity to hear the sound of their voices. Is that us talking about our parents? Maybe. Oh. Not a single door. This one's not going to be open either. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Answer the phone. Oh. Is it the operator again? No. It's a crying, crying old woman. Oh. Oh. Is everything okay? How long am I supposed to listen to this? Let's take a look. Oh, we got 90 seconds until our next hint. Okay, I'm just gonna... I listened to the entire thing, dude. Okay, let's... Let's go check the doors. Going through the PT checklist. Right? Dude, people on people in my YouTube comments always act like I make a huge deal out of like, like ooh, you always like complain when a game is inspired by PT. It's like, yes, because it happens all the time. Oh my god, no way. Okay. Do I have to do something while the phone call is going on? Yeah, they always act like I'm being unreasonable. Bro, not every game with a looping hallway is inspired by PT. Just get over it. It's like, yes, it, yes, they are though. How can you look at this game and deny that? Oh, wow. Oh my God, no way. Just give me the hint. Walk all the way across to try to open the locked door. All the way back, you'll hear the phone ring. Answer it after the crying stops. Try to open the door again. On the way back, you'll hear a phone ring again. This time, don't answer it. I got an achievement, by the way. The achievement's called, Why Won't You Pick Up? 
Okay, so now I can go through the door? No way. That's... You know, it's a shame, because I think this game has, like, kind of a cool atmosphere. Psychological horror games cannot also be puzzle games. It, it just can't. Wow. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's too bad, because this game has, like, a cool atmosphere to it, and like a decent concept. Dear mother, hey, I know it's been a while since we last saw each other, but I just wanted to let you know that the delivery was successful. It's a perfectly healthy boy and we've named him James after his father. He's absolutely adorable and I can't wait for you to meet him. Take care. Oh, okay. So like apparently after Kevin died. I'm glad you made it through in one piece. Whatever you saw might have jogged your memory a bit, even though all of it occurred before you were born. Your parents, Neil and Sarah Young, had a son named Kevin. Wait. Your grandparents were looking after him when an unfortunate incident occurred. Oh, sorry, I misunderstood. After losing their only son, your parents decided it would be best to create some distance between your grandmother. Although she James tried is our name. to seek their forgiveness, the grief they felt was too painful. For a long time, they stayed out of contact with your grandmother. After a few years, they had you, James Young. They still were quite distant with your grandmother, possibly afraid the same incident might happen again. Okay. I don't want to bore you too much with those details. There is something I require from you. For you to unlock more of your memories, you need to go deeper into God's basement. To do that, you need to retrieve a security card to get past the door to your right. Fortunately, there is one down the hallway to your left. Just follow it all the way down, past the area with the red lights, and it should be in a storage room filled with shelves. Once you retrieve it, bring it back and slide it across the panel next to the door. I know you still have your suspicions, but I swear all your questions will be answered. Once you have a complete understanding of your past life, I'll tell you what God's basement really is. But you have quite some ways to go. Keep doing exactly as I say. And one last thing. Good luck. Oh, sorry. Is it over? You know, I have to say one thing about this game that I think could be massively improved is... I think that the 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 operator is way too detailed with things. It, I think the ambiance would be way more sinister if the operator didn't go into so much detail. If it would just be like, but he's just so he's just like, go to your right, and there should be a room, and get the security card, and then slide it across the thing. It's like what? Okay, so this is where the and he goes into like so much detail about your life. I feel like it'd be way creepier if he was much more vague and spoken riddles rather than you know, I know you still have your suspicions. Last night I had a dream. I was walking toward my son and his family. They looked so happy together and I yearned to be a part of it. As I kept walking, they kept shrinking, becoming more and more distant even as I increased my pace. The space between kept exponentially increasing until they disappeared. I haven't seen them since the accident. My son writes to me every now and then, but will never answer any of my calls. I haven't heard his voice in years. They recently had another child, an adorable baby boy. I desperately wish to see him. My son wrote to me saying that he couldn't wait for us to meet. I pray that he keeps his word. Okay. So, basically what's happening is James Young, that's us, right? Neil Young is our father. I got it mixed up. Neil Young and his wife, Sarah, are trying to keep me separated from Grandma Margaret because, I guess, of all the trauma that resulted from Kevin dying in an automobile accident where somebody may have been in, uh, under the influence of alcohol. Okay. All caught up? Good. What am I doing? There's nothing to interact with. There's... No. Do not... What? 
You wanna know why I need a hint for this puzzle? Because there's literally no indication of what you're supposed to do at all. It's just six red buttons that you can turn green for what seems to be a random amount of time. Solve the cube puzzle. Don't tell me the correct order. You just, they just tell me the correct order. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there is actually a way to do it. But it's very time consuming. See, I did five first and it doesn't turn off. So like, if you were like five, four, then you would have to wait and they would turn off. And then you'd be like, oh, I guess it's not that one. So then you could do like five, one, and then you would wait. And then when they don't turn off, that's how you know that it's the right order. That's a, an extremely long trial and error. I got an achievement, genius. Oh, uh, let's pump the brakes on that one. Uh, the only reason I got that is because of the hint. Oh, uh, achievement, found it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Do you hear it? The music's distorting. What? It's my grandma. She wants to spend time with me. <laughs> Run! In other news, a car crashed resulted in the death of the grandfather and an infant child. Yet we all we all know that. Imagine if I didn't have subtitles on right now. Oh, look. Look at her. <laughs> That's what I had to do. We're going down the psychological horror checklist one at a time. To satisfy your curiosity for a bit, I'll tell you a small truth about God's basement. I'm dying to hear it. God's basement is a place to reflect on your past life. No shit. That statement might be a bit broad, <laughs> but I'll tell you more as you continue your journey. As for this area, there seems to be a locked door with a keypad. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Oh, my bad. I thought I was wait for the crying to stop. We gotta wait for the knocking to stop. This guy's not gonna let up though. Uh oh. They're gonna get in. <gasps> Who's on the other side of the door? They stopped. Wait, now the rabbit's on the ground. Oh, and now we can just keep going. <laughs> no. How, what chapter was I on just now? I was in chapter three out of 11? No. This is the longest game of all time. Let's see what chapter 11's like. This is the final chapter, guys. We're just gonna skip all of it. Oh, look, it's the great pubic hair filter. I love this one. James, you murdered her. Of course. You knew about her delusions. She always talked about the man in the radio. Oh, so you no! To Wow, okay, here's a very long positive review from someone who played this thing for four hours. This type of game is what I refer to as a guardrail game. A guardrail game, huh? And an action trigger type of game. Is it a strand type game? You basically have to follow one road to get to the end of the game. So the game wants you to find something, pick up items, solve a puzzle, etc. You have to do that in order for the game to move on. Yes, it's linear. It is a linear game. That's the word you're looking for. I really like this game. I didn't experience any glitches, bugs, slashes, 
la lag or crashes during my four hour gameplay. Yeah, you wanna know why? Because literally there was like nothing to be bugged. There's, there's no, there was no like interactive segments or, or anything. It was, it was linear to a fault. It was basically walk down a hallway and watch a spooky thing happen. So you go to the next hallway and watch a spooky thing happen. That's why you didn't experience any glitches or bugs. What would glitch? What would even bug? The fact that this game was made by one person astounds me. What the game manages to achieve with very little shows a dev who is a master of their craft. A terror and a joy to experience with a story that genuinely left me stunned. This game is a masterpiece. It ditches all of the usual horror game aspects, chasing puzzles, etc. Um, and focuses heavily on storyline and a horror theme that is usually only encompassed by Asian horror directors, 10 out of 10. You know, this is the type of review that I would usually see with like a, I play it on my YouTube channel, check out my YouTube video and there's a link. This game was the best horror driven story driving game I have ever played. I understand that horror is subjective. I just, you need to play more games. You need to play more uh, story driving games. Uh, if, if you thought this, I, I'm just saying, I don't doubt that there's people that enjoyed God's Basement. I don't doubt it. But the, these reviews saying it's a masterpiece and it's the best horror game they've ever played. What? Please let this game go viral because it definitely deserves it. Viral? Okay, 13 products in account. I'm sorry, I have to see what... Let me see your games. No, it won't let me see them. This is their only review. I, I, I did not, I, you know, I did not expect to see such glowing reviews. A story that genuinely left me stunned. This game is a masterpiece. The best horror story driven game I've ever, not only the first, not only the best horror driven game, the best story driven game period they've ever played. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to stop. Granny be looking real good right now. I'm, I'm gonna say it. Granny is a good game. Sorry, not sorry. I know people don't like it. Some people don't like it because it's like a mobile game and a lot of kids like it, but Granny is a good game. It's like a, it's solidly designed. It's fun to play. You know, I, I find myself having to defend a lot of trendy horror games. I think Granny's good. I think Baldi's Basics is a good game. I think Baldi's Basics, honestly, like one of the most creative horror games of the past five years. Like, I'm sorry that you saw like a Bozo the Clown YouTuber make a make a video about it with their with their thumbnail where they go like, Ooh, and they're like scariest game of all time. I'm sorry that that bothers you, but it doesn't mean that the game's crap. All right, uh, this is a game called Now You See. It was just in my Steam library. I actually don't know anything about it. Yeah, checking it out. Whilst traveling on foot in the dead of night through unfamiliar farmlands, a heavy thunderstorm begins crashing above you. Okay. After some time and distance battling the hail and winds in dark and slippery conditions, you are desperate to seek some shelter. You notice the dark silhouette of a lone residence on the horizons. Heading in that direction, you hold hope that the occupants are friendly and will allow you stay until first light, or at least until the storm has passed. Eventually, you reach the house and knock on the front door. There is no answer, but you hear the faint sound of music coming from inside. You knock again. Nothing. Rain and hail is stinging your face and fingers like daggers now. Ow. You grip the cold handle and twist. The door creaks open and you step inside. All right. I got an achievement already called Chancer. What, like I was a chan, oh. Oh, it's point and click. Oh, okay. Also, it's hand painted. 
This is kind of cool. Yeah, these are like hand paint and there's different perspectives. So there's the front door where we came in. Oh, this is neat. Can I go upstairs? Yeah, inventory puzzle time, exactly. Oh, what's this? Wait, is that like a voodoo doll? Kind of looks like it. There's another X right here. I wonder why. The music stopped. Uh, oh, sorry to interrupt. Ah, I clicked on him. Game over! All right. Okay, so that's, that's what you were supposed to do then. Right? I got an achievement out of the frying pan. What's this? Oh, is rigor mortis set in? I can't, I can't get, it looks like a tape recorder. Okay, I gotta like pry it out somehow. What's up here? A fan? Okay, we gotta find some way to stop this, I think. Um, what's that? Okay, it's a rock. Maybe we can throw the rock into the... Okay, here's our inventory. And, okay, we can use the rock maybe to... Oh, what's this? Okay, I peeled away the wallpaper. Okay, I need something maybe to pry away the brick here. Let's see. The red light bulb up here. Oh, is this a nail? Ooh, what's that? It's a little, it's like a little voodoo doll thing. Wait, can I, can I bop this? Yeah, give me that, okay. Bopped it with the rock, which I still have, so I got a nail. Examine, or, uh, or do I drag it to examine? Thanks. I guess not. Well, one of nine, oh, those are collectibles. Okay, cool. Yeah, got it. All right. So I have a nail. Really, I could use this as like a hammer and chisel, right? Okay. So I wonder if I could, well, can I combine these actually? Oh, what I find. A little like, a little like piece of wood. The body was sitting on something. Oh, you are correct. I didn't even see that. Cool. Day five, that chant. They raise their arms when they say it. So, oh, so, sorry, some religious thing. I'm recording it. Fucking evidence. Fuck you fuckers. <laughs> chant, they raise their arm when they say it. Okay, I'm recording it. Day seven, I think. They took my spare batteries. I found something useful. Put it in my new hiding place. That's that like popsicle stick or wo or uh, wooden thing. Hope the fan stays off or I'll never get it out. Oh, oh, okay, no, 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 no. Hope the fan stays off or I'll never get it out. The only problem I have with point and click games like this is that I don't like the pixel hunting aspect. I don't know. Oh. No way out, can't fit. What does it say? No way out, can't fit. Fingers through crack to move bar. Is this the, the doorway? Like the door slat?
Oh, like right there. Oh, it's this thing. Right here. Oh, okay. All good, we got a hacksaw. Need a hand? Ha 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 I got an achievement. Fella of limbs. What does that mean? Okay, I guess we got a hand. It's a frozen hand. Can I examine it or no? No, you can't. Ex you can only examine things that that are uh, are written. It's got like a circular hole in it. I wonder. No. Okay, I'll come back to this. Maybe later. Here's a radiator. What am I looking at? Oh! Another little collectible thing. I thought maybe like the radiator would heat up the frozen hand a little bit. So what about you? Oh my you god. Hate, you know. No one leaves your family now. When you come here, you're here forever. You can stay with me. You can talk to me. Elijah doesn't talk to me anymore. But he helps me. He helps me. Who's Elijah? He can help you too. is coming. Now you see. Do I have to... Uh... Fuck, I guess I'll just stay here. What? Okay, I, I still got all my... Was it supposed to like hide somewhere? Oh, I still got all my stuff. All right, cool. Oh, aha, little do you know. <laughs> you tattled on me. Oh. Boy, is he coming back? Oh, it's because I jostled the door. He's gonna he's gonna knock me out again. Okay. Did you notice that the, the wheezy guy had something in his uh, front pocket? I wonder how we get that off of him. Oh, he doesn't want me to take that, okay. Oh, all right, we gotta get that knife out of your hand. Oh. Uh, what is this? Now we finally have this. Huh. Well, there's nothing. Oh, wait. Up here? Okay. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Now we can thaw out the hands. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. It's got a glove on it. It's got a rubber glove. So we actually don't. Okay, we don't need the hand. Okay, we need the rubber glove. Rubber uh, is an insulator. There we go. So now we, okay, the, we, we turned off, we turned off the fan. So now we can see what's behind the fan. It's not going anymore. What is this? Oh, this opens the drawer. 
Now we're now we're cooking with gas. Let's go. Now we're rolling. Okay, here we go. No. Okay, wait. Is it for the vice? Oh, it's a crank for the vice. What's in between? Batteries. Spare batteries. Okay, we're gonna go back. Uh, we're gonna put the batteries in the tape recorder. No? Oh! Got it. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Well read. What is this? Yeah, I like didn't see that. I like straight up didn't see that. No, the right wall is basically you jiggle the handle and the guy comes back. We already tried that. Okay, a knob for the drawer. This is what I mean, man. This is the only problem with uh, point and click games. You pixel hunt. All right. I'm guessing we use this to plier the fingers. Uh-huh. Tape recorder, okay. Play the tape recorder. Or is it out of batteries? Okay. Dude, that guy sounds like a death metal vocalist or something. Through darkness. Okay, wait, no, let's find out. I wanna hear that again. Let's play the tape for him, see what he says. That's their chant. He has to raise his hands for the chant. So then we got it, we got it. Okay, we got a key here then. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, we go through here. What? So wait, is this? Okay, that's, so to the left, that's back out there. Um, oh, okay, okay, I get it. We hide in here. He's looking for us. But we're not in our usual spot, so now he's bamboozled. He's in there looking for us, we're gonna escape. Oh, no way. Is he locked in there? Let's go upstairs. Let's go back in here where we first found him. Okay. <laughs> what? Do we just flush the blood toilet? Okay, what is this? I have no idea what this is. I imagine we only have like a matter of time until he comes out. Okay, so this is, it's a code. Wow, it's a five digit code. What could that even be? All right. Click the toilet. Okay. Oh, you're right. There is something, because I flushed it. Oh my God, okay. I got an achievement called Toilet Toucher. Gross. It's like part of a photograph. Okay. Anything else in there? Anything else in there? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. 
Is this open? No. And then this doesn't really... Open that up. There's something... I bet there's something inside the voodoo doll. Uh, but I tried the hacksaw, the nail, the cube, the pliers. We probably have to get something specific. With like an inventory puzzle game like this, you're probably not going to reuse items. Let's go this way. Here we go. What is this? Oh, little achievement, a uh, little collectible there. I got it. Almost missed it. It's not a glass shard. It's a piece of a photograph. And I did try that. Oh, oh, a safe. We'll come back to that. Is that backwards seven right there? Is that backwards three right there? Am I looking too far into that? Let's take a look here. Got a hairbrush. Looks like it's got a keyhole of some kind. There's a pearl necklace, too. Okay, I got a hairbrush, piece of a photograph. This doesn't... Okay. It's like a little hole on the side. Look, this same... This same symbol right here was in that uh, photograph just now. Oh. You can actually examine the brush. Oh, what? There's a puzzle here. Okay, so it's either a dot, an X, or a horizontal line. I don't know if we know of a way to do it just yet. I, I, I assume I have to get more parts of the picture. Oh, oh, what is this? 57. Was it I Elijah? Elijah, that's the guy that's that's uh, angry, pounding on the door down there. Agedio? Oh, aged ten. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was maybe his last name or something. Elijah, aged ten, fifty-seven. Nineteen fifty-seven. There's nothing. Oh, uh, okay. We moved the door out of the way. Scissors, this is to cut open the voodoo doll. There's also an eyeball. Uh, okay, nothing to interact with here. Um, let me go open up the voodoo doll real quick. Now you see, huh? Oh. Well done, mother. You found my secret instructions. I have left secret messages for you around the house. Look out for my special symbol, which we saw. You will need magic glasses to see the messages. I will give you a clue where to find them. You begin your special quest with the sun rising in the left over flat woodland below your journey, or flat woodland below. Your journey is long and slow. Watch for cracks where you tread. Giant caverns tower ahead. Be brave and reach in the dark. The fourth holds magical glass. P.S. Put the note and glasses back when you have finished. Elijah. Okay. Are you talking about... Oh. Oh, the fourth. Okay. I was overthinking the riddle a bit. Okay. Magical glasses, though. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs. Yeah, we got 3D glasses. Pog, 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 pog. Okay, I know where two of these are. So uh, let's take a look real quick at this one on the desk. Two, I also like pancakes. Two, I also like pancakes. Zero. Oh, okay. Well, 
four, I don't like carrots. Yuck. So two, I like pancakes. Four, I don't like carrots. Yeah, this might be a hairbrush puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two, okay. Let's check. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. I didn't see that one originally. One, my best find. Wait, my best food. I love is hot cross buns. Where's Gary? Look, it's the X. So this is for the this is for the hairbrush. Where is my hairbrush? Where is my hairbrush? Where's three? This is okay. I got the vanity. Oh, it is by the voodoo doll. You're right. What the fuck? What? That's not helpful. My name is Elijah and I love food. Excuse you? I literally do not see anything. I'm pretty sure we're just, okay. But I don't understand, like, how do I, so is this not right? Oh. You press this button when you're done. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. We just cycled through it. I want to make sure. Okay. So now I got a key. Key goes... Any here? Burnt book. That's the guy downstairs. The church. Okay, what's up? Hey. Oh no. Let's see what we have of this photo. Oh. July 12th, 1957. So 7 12 57. Is the code seven twelve fifty seven or twelve seven fifty seven for you weirdos that don't live in America? <laughs> All right, seven. Oh, seven twelve. Oh no. It's hard when you can't see it. It's very, it's very small. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. A lot of books here. Really? Okay, it's locked. I got an achievement, bookworm. So nothing interesting here. By the way, there's a hole back here. Do I move this? What am I opening it for? Oh, yeah, I just searched the exact right um, coat pocket. Man, Elijah's still banging away. Thank God. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. What is this for? The wardrobe has a screw. Where? Oh, up here? Oh, okay. So you've seen this game before then. Because <laughs> there's no reason to say that unless you just already knew that that was the case. Okay.
Oh, was it screwed into the wall? I, huh? Okay, whatever. I did not get that at all from that. Um. Uh. Hello? Is someone there? It's me. Yeah. Is that your eyeball I saw on the bed? Please find my boyfriend. We came here together. Uh, I think I found him. I think he's dead. I have something. I can give it to you. Just find him for me. Please. He is like definitely dead, dude. I guess the cube would be, it would make sense for it to do it, but I only got one. Do I have to get two more? I guess, right? Here's another one. Blue one. Maybe you just... So is this cube red or yellow? Does she have the lat does she have the third cube? Oh yes, there it is. Okay, fine. It says Elijah. Wow, cool. Oh, uh, what? Well, good thing I found this, I guess. Up, zero, or right, down, uh, what? Well, I need, I still need to get the third, uh, cube, so. Let me go try to, I mean, I'm guessing this isn't your boyfriend, or, oh, it is. I got an achievement. Squishy Scott. Okay. Uh, okay, we gotta give this to her then. Gross. Okay, here we go. Er, oh, my bad. Okay. I know you're gonna turn around and you're not gonna have any eyes. This is Scott's necklace. Dead, isn't he? Yes, give me the last cube, please. I need the last cube. Do you have it? You can have this now. Thank you. I don't need it anymore. Oh. That's for the music box on the vanity. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that you're way in there. Okay, bye bye. See you later. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, and then we got our code, so we're able to push down the thingies. We got this. I'm not sure what to do after this part, though. Oh! He got out!
He's out. He's mad. Oh, he pushed the thing in front of it. He pushed the, the dresser in front of it. Well. Wow. Oh. Almost missed that one. I got an achievement, doll collector. Well, not really. I've only got five out of nine. Uh-oh. Go, go, go. Was that not it? Oh, wait. This is the highest one. Oh wait, no, this is the lowest, my god, okay. My brain's kind of fried. What am I doing now? Oh, we go to the hatch. Okay, my bad. I forgot that there was still something to do here. M up? Okay. Uh... Hang on, I'm just looking for those dolls. I don't see one, no. Okay. Is that you, my boy? Have you finally come to see me? Mommy loves you. Mommy always loves you. You need to drink some water. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Cutting. It's her face. She cut off her face. She cut off her face. Um, there's a thing to interact with back there. I'm not sure what we used to interact with it though. Hacksaw, screwdriver, pliers. We just reused the recorder, so maybe it's time to reuse these things. Like, what is this? Are we trying to go through there? So we gotta interact with the vent somehow. Your things. Your brush? Your brush, 
your book. Thank you. Okay. Picture book. You, this? No, that wasn't yours? Okay. Um, scissors? My old things. Thank you, my boy. You're such a good boy. Not like those rats and unbelievers. Seek them out, my boy. Break them from the walls of this house. No good vermin. Come back soon, my boy. Mommy loves you. What do you eat? How do you sustain yourself? When was the last time you had a glass of water? Oh, okay. Sure. Uh. Okay. Oh no, is this like a maze? Are we below? Are are we below the house? I'm gonna follow the yellow trail. I'm just gonna keep following this then. Secret stop. Secret area. Elijah's den. So we got the yellow chalk. Okay. Elijah can fit in here. Ugh. Ooh. Gotcha. Um, we'll go ahead and move back. Uh, yeah, hello. Hello, we just won't go that way. Oh, does that get rid of the rat? Or possum, or whatever the hell that is? <laughs> Another one, I don't know. Uh, I got an achievement, Doll Hunter. Okay. This is just a maze. Wait, what does it say? Does it say net or not? Not dead. It says not dead in blood. Oh my god, okay. I don't know. See, what's this? Okay. 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 Wait, I turned I turned both of them on though. Oh. I didn't oh I didn't get that one. Did you hear the rat go? I think I got him with the steam or something. Yeah. We gotta turn it off now, though. We turn it off. Just like a bigger version of that. Um, okay. This is it. Okay, this is the one I was talking about. We got it. We're still not done. Oh my god, no way. You think I'm clicking back instead of down? Okay, maybe you're right. Oh yeah, here's down, here, I've been clicking back. I've been clicking back instead of down, oh. Okay. I 
I got an achievement, Navigator. Hello? Don't mind me, I'm just making a ton of noise. What am I looking for? Oh, I found something. Ah! I found eight of nine. Doll stalker achievement. It was just in there. What am I looking for? Oh my God. What? Hey, you want in? Where does this... Does it go to the window? Oh. Where... Okay. Elijah mad. Oh no, not another maze. Don't do this to me. So now, we're in the dungeons underneath the house, huh? Start with the right. No way. I, how, how, how? How are you supposed to know? Am I back to the beginning? No way. I'm gonna have you. Am I back to the beginning again? Okay. Hard to tell. Oh, you need the glasses? Oh. I wasn't even looking for it. Oh. I see the symbol over there. Okay. Right here. Oh, this is new. Wait, where? Oh, there it is. Only one place to go. Now, does it say now you see or no? Now, uh. look, are these all eyeballs? Now you see, now you see. Now you, no wait, now through. I see through darkness, you see the light. I really doubt you can use these tools on the vent. What is this? We can't interact with the light back here. I mean, that's a, I guess it's a ladder, right? Pain. Do we need to injure ourselves? I, I, I don't see a way to interact with ourselves, though. Yeah, it'd be nice if items without further use were discarded. Exactly. Now you see. Oh, I just tried to turn around. Oh. Well. I guess I can't do that. I get, I, I can't put my own face on. Okay, wait. Maybe we gotta time it. 
Okay, he doesn't like that. Okay, I think we use... Wait, wait. Damn. It's like... I thought maybe I would have, like, time to do something while he's distracted. Am I just poking his eye? He doesn't seem to like that. He, he had like no time. What the fuck are you supposed to do? Do you? I I can't emphasize enough. You like have no time to do anything before he before he starts reacting. So everybody's just like, oh, get the pliers out of the inventory and use them on his teeth. Or like, get the screwdriver and use them on his eyes. You don't have enough time. It is interesting that you just, you poke the eyes. But I only get, I, I can only get one poke in. I thought like maybe you just keep doing this or... Okay. This is so weird. This is such a weird ending to like an otherwise really cool game. What do I click? What do I click? Right? What? Click on each side of his forehead, each cheek, and his nose, then punch an eye three times. And you do it for the other eye. So you only have to do it twice. Oh my god. This is honestly... Okay. I'm gonna save my thoughts for the end. Okay, so you go. And then you go. I got an achievement, now you see. Okay, I gotta say, I really like a lot of things about this game, but that sequence... <sighs> annoying and dumb. Where's the last doll? I don't know, I guess I just missed it. You heave your bruised and bloody body up through the opening into the blinding daylight and collapse. I got an achievement, Survivor. All is quiet from the horrible rooms below, and you lie still for a few moments longer, letting the pleasant scent of grass and earth fill your nostrils. Okay. Catching your breath, and with eyes still adjusting, you maneuver yourself upright and onto your feet. Look at that maneuver spelling, wow. Maneuver. You don't turn to look as you stagger away. And years later, you are grateful for it. Not having that clear image of what the house looked like. Okay. <laughs> It'd be funny if he just appeared again. In your memory, it's just a shadowy form on a hill. A dark smoke screen behind which you hide the nightmares of what happened within. In your dreams, you never approach the house. You always keep walking and don't look back. Okay. But sometimes in the deepest and darkest of sleeps, uh, 
Here it comes. The nightmares still seep out. Oh. Okay. First, I just want to say very cool hand painted graphics. Very, very cool. Like, as soon as I stepped into the game, I was like, this is awesome. It was good up until some of the parts at the end. Ah, horror is such a. Horror is such a. Such a tough genre. Because it's like. I really liked like the first two thirds of the game. The 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 vent maze section um, was not good, and that boss battle was not good either. Also, getting to the last room and not being able to do anything until you turn around was not good either. It was great until you got to the mazes. Damn. Other than that, it was like, I really enjoyed it. Like I liked, uh... yeah, I liked all the, I like inventory puzzle games and this is, you know, like a point and click adventure inventory puzzle game. So I liked that about it. It's just, and that, that boss battle at the end was very, was horrible. I would go so far as to say it was horrible. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I had a nice time. 